Hey guys, in just a minute, you're going to meet one of my patients, Ed, and how he is literally living a, such a healthy lifestyle. He was diagnosed with a serious condition. I'll let him tell you about it. But if you're looking for different ways to support the body as you're going through cancer, as autoimmune conditions, you need to know about stories just like Ed. Because it was told a year ago, hey, get all your affairs in order. You wouldn't believe the progress that he's had now. And so much of it is the simple process of cleaning out lymph nodes using a mineral and a chemical that changes the hydrogen ion content inside of the lymph nodes. It's not just me saying that. Here's Ed inside the office. Check it out. Hey everyone, it's Dr. West and Ed. I almost called him Roland because that's his um, other name. But he goes by it in the office, and we've just had a recap of basically the last year of treatment. There's a couple assessment markers that we're looking for his condition, and we just haven't had an amazing outcome. And I don't want it to steal thunder or anything, but as we're going through this, it's an amazing story. It's an amazing outcome. And so, Ed, is there, um, you can share as much or as little as you like, but one of the reasons I ask you to do this is therapeutic to tell the story, but I also want to give someone else that's out there looking for things a little bit of uh, perspective, a viewpoint, um, maybe a little bit of hope. So what lined up? How did we, how did we cross paths? Well, a couple of years ago, I was told that I had, uh, I was having some physical symptoms that were distressing. And I was told I had stage four prostate cancer and that it had already metastasized to my liver and to my lungs. And this was years ago? This was two years ago. Two years ago. A little over two years ago. And the med at the time, the medical options were? Well, I decided to go on a fast. I, I decided, I, I knew this place in California where I'd been before, and I went there and I went on a water-only fast for 18 days. And it, it relieved my symptoms, but uh, as soon as I came back and resumed a normal life, they reappeared, and it appeared that that strategy was not going to give me any long-term solutions. So then they wanted to do more tests and, and uh, see if it had gone to my bones, and, uh, and I did that, and they said, yes, it had gone to my bones in one, one location. And uh, then they wanted to do more tests, and uh, they had some other ideas that they, they wanted to pursue. And I decided that those tests, all of which involve some sort of invasive procedure, usually with radiation or something of that nature, I decided I, I wasn't going to go down this road of chemotherapy, radiation, surgery. I just, mentally, I'm not up for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not, not what I want to do. I decided that I would look for ways to try to increase the resilience of my immune system. And I found out about your practice. And before we jump into that, I think it's really important for you to tell people all the work that you did. So when you were talking about getting your body in alignment and doing, like you've listed out several things before we started filming, but what, what are they? What are the things that you're doing to you? Because this is super important. Well, first of all, reduction of stress. Okay, I had s stressful situations in my life that I've been dealing with for a long time, family issues and so on. And I found ways to cut that way, way, way down. Uh, exercise, uh, sunshine, uh, grounding, walking uh, barefoot uh, on the ground, uh, stress reduction in terms of more sleep, uh, just trying not to get too involved in all the stressful things that are going on in the world today, which I, I have, I still have professional responsibilities as an engineer and that it brings some of that into me, into, right. into my life. But I, I found ways to cut all that down. So I'm hearing a lot of letting go. Right. Like with just letting it, recognizing I can't really am, I'm just going to let it go. Right. All right. And then you've always been, or at least I think you've been a clean eater. Like you, it wasn't like you were a, a junk food junkie or doing a lot of bad stuff before, but you've also made a conscious decision to eat as clean as possible. Right, and I have a wonderful, wonderful wife that makes sure that that happens. And she's, she doesn't nag me, but she's very good about helping me with 
food preparation, planning, and education. She continually educating all both of us and others actually about uh, the necessity for uh, clean diet, avoiding the toxins, the preservatives, the, the yeah. things that are coming into our life at an increasing level that we need to watch out for. So then we, uh, we are cross path, or excuse me, we cross paths about a year ago, I think last summer um, was what, and then there were some specific things that we started to do. So tell everybody some of the things that you experienced here. Well, we started doing the IV drip, uh, started out twice a week with the uh, B17 uh, and the uh, vitamin C and the hydrochloric yep. treatment. So high dose, when we talk about vitamin C, not a little bit, you know, 75 grams. So there's a lot of, a lot of vitamin C going through there. Right. And uh, then and supplements, which uh, I can't even name all the supplements, but we were up to at one point, like 16, 17 supplements. And I was taking all those. And, and so everyone, what we're trying, we were balancing blood chemistry, and then we were giving a specific cancer support program we learned about in Europe with some um, peptides and some specific signaling molecules that helps the immune system to work. That's why we had a whole bunch. And we cut down a bunch since then. Right. Give everybody peace of mind. You're not having to take 17 now. No, no. I got to the point where I could see that that was kind of played out. Uh -huh. I, I, I began to have a cloudy uh, urine and I th said to myself, well, now we're, we're over the top. We're too much. We're on something. And so uh, I came back. We reevaluated that, cut those way down. And, uh, you know, since then, I've been, I've, I've had some problems, gastro problems, uh, which I've resolved. I have to take a little laxative, natural laxative uh, once a day. That helps me. I've got a swollen prostate. I still, I have to catheter in order to urinate, but that's really not, a, not that big of a deal. I have no pain. And, uh, you know, I, I just. And no symptoms from other places. Like we're not having. Because they were saying, we think it's in different parts of your body. And to look at him, you wouldn't even know that he was sick. But what's fascinating is how you've really put things in alignment. And, like, we don't really have any symptoms other than some mild GI stuff right now, right? Exactly. And it's also interesting to compare and contrast. You have a little group of friends. Some of them have faced similar challenges. And you've seen the different treatment pathways and, and one of the things you're like, hey, I'd like to share this to, for people to understand their options. So if someone's watching this and looking for um, a pathway, I found that patients usually learn something from autoimmune or a cancer diagnosis. Or to, What have you learned that you'd like to share with someone that's watching about your health journey? Well, first of all, I think you have to listen to your body and pay close attention to your body and, and how it's how it's doing, how it's reacting. I mean, I'm 82 years old, so I've got a long history with my body and I've learned to pay attention to it. And I just think it's important um, that there's a paradigm that, that you fit into as soon as you're given a diagnosis by the medical establishment. And they have a protocol that they're gonna follow. And that protocol generally involves surgery, radiation, chemotherapy. And I've gone to oncologists, I've talked to them, I've looked at their uh, protocols and, and, and discussed this with them. And the important thing to realize is that you are in control. You know, it's, it's important that you maintain that feeling that you're in control of your body. Because what happens is you, 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 the way the system that we have works, it seems like you get on a conveyor belt, right. and then the conveyor belt just takes you wherever it's gonna take you, right? Right. And you, you've lost control, and I think that loss of control, I think there's a psychological element mm -hmm. to illness. 100%. That, that yeah. is very powerful, and we should not ever forget that. And it's important to, to be in control, you're living your life, you're making the decisions, that's the important thing. All right, so it's just so rewarding to work with someone that takes ownership and says, I'm going to get my energy right. I'm going to get my diet right. I'm going to ground. I'm going to release stress. I'm going to take my supplements. I'm going to you know, go through your, your spiritual and emotional and your mindfulness. Um, 
I just am so excited. His assessment looks amazing today. Now we're just going to give him some options. You know, long time in between treatments of just making sure we don't have any slide back. But Ed, thank you for sharing that. Is it okay if I share this with others? Of course, yeah. I, I would I I would hope that people that are in similar circumstances would would uh, be open to considering what's happened here. I I'm not. Listen. I, I believe in this treatment, your body, take care of your body, take care of your immune system, pay attention to it, and it's going to get you through uh, better than any other method that, that, that I think is coming from outside. And I don't have anything to add to that. This is Dr. West and Ed signing out at the West Clinic. We'll see you guys on the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Ed's story. This is why I feel I don't have a job. I get to go to work. I get to interact with people that I enjoy and that I like and that we're making a difference. Now, whether it is Lyme disease, whether it's autoimmune condition, it's muscle problems, nerve problems, even macular degeneration, we've had some incredible patient outcomes and there's an amazing way to get inside of our system without any cost or obligation. This is what you do. You go to www.americashealer.com. There's a short questionnaire there that you can fill out and my team will get in contact with you and give you options and ideas of what you can do to not live your life down here, but live it up here. And maybe you're going to be the next Ed story. It's so fulfilling to help people on their pathway of health. And I'd love to see if we can help you go to that website and check it out. And I'll see you guys on the next video.